Okay, so, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Phoenix Rising. Um, had some technical difficulties this time. I started to record episode 101, and as usual, I checked everything to make sure that everything was going to be alright. You know, checking, checking all, that everything was recording and, and, and such and making sure that I had space for recording. And everything was fine, and I recorded the episode. Well, you see, this episode is the one where the plan was to send the bomber fleet, the bomber fleet over at, over Agamar, down to Slaheron, right? To push into the Maw area. Well, that, that is what we did. I pulled them off of Agamar down to over here-ish, and built up a whole mess of other things. These and these and those, and one of the things that I added to the fleet was these. Take a look underneath acceleration and maneuverability. See how there's nothing there? Take a look at the same spot on these guys. Hyperdrive class is 1.0. Hyperdrive class 1.0. Yeah. Space tugs, and I didn't realize it at the time, or at first, the space tugs don't have a hyperdrive. So I went and I added like 10 squadrons of tugs to the bomber fleet and then sent them off, and that was after spending an awfully long time building up other things to add to it. Other fighters and bombers. And I didn't realize that the tugs didn't have a hyperdrive until after I sent them. So that meant that they would ended up traveling out there at the very slowest speed it is possible for fleets to move, as far as I'm aware. Um, I think in the base game, the only thing that is slower than a ship with no hyperdrive would be the Death Star? But in this, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was the slowest the fleet can move. So it, you know, took a very long time to get out there. Well, between that and the lag on the galactic level, which is, which is, uh, pr pretty bad currently, um, it meant that I ended up recording for two and a half hours before the battle even started at Slaheron. Now, that is quite a bit longer than I usually record for a single episode. And when I had checked things before recording, I had enough space for an episode at the sort of length that I usually record, right? You see where this is going. Yes, I definitely ran out of space. And that two and a half hours got corrupted. When that happened, I stopped what I was doing, paused the game, and and then restarted it, it freed up some space, restarted recording. For some reason I didn't even bother to check that two and a half hour recording to see whether or not it was messed up. I'm not sure why I didn't check that, it's the obvious thing to check. But I didn't, and then just kind of kept recording the battle, because we had just started the battle over Slaheron when I ran out of space. And then, you know, finished the battle recording that, and then finished the episode shortly thereafter. 
I'm going to intentionally not scroll over in that direction so as to avoid spoilers because this currently is post that battle. I don't want to spoil anything. But it does mean that you have missed two and a half hours worth of galactic um, movement and stuff happening. On the bright side, combination of lag and the fact that I was pretty much spending most of that time sitting there waiting for the fleet to eventually get over there. It means that you didn't miss too much, but you did. You have missed some things, and some, th some of the things that have happened are quite important. At least, probably important. Certainly as far as the position of our enemies. So, that's, that's what this recording is. I'm going to run you through all of the major points of what happened, not including the battle at Slaheron. So, I think, I think it's going to be easiest to start at the north and work our way down. Uh, I, I, I have no, I don't remember chronologically what happened in what order, but, but, the major points are these. Empire took Dantooine. CSA retreated, and the rem the remnants of that ended up on Wayland. I'm not sure exactly how much they actually lost. I'm pretty sure they had more of these. I'm almost certain they had more of these. I don't remember what else. But, but this here is the remnants of that attack. Moving further down, um, Empress Teta. The CSA and Empire went back and forth on this planet, I think it was like two or three times. And the CSA also moved out to Zorth. Uh, uh, apparently, Vulpter connects to it. Then, most recently, the Empire apparently has decided that they've had enough of this. And they've got these these guys here, these are Mark IV Imperial class. And it's the first time we've seen them, as far as I can remember. So yeah, the Empire seems like they're probably going to push the CSA out of this area. I don't know what the CSA has left of their fleet. I do know that they did get ground forces and some ships down to Rendili. Not sure exactly how much. It's been a while since I've had a spy over there. I've mostly been keeping an eye out on the action up here. But they have... The CSA has used... Corellia to get through, get stuff through. So far they haven't messed with Prakith, but that's seeming likely. Moving further south, we have this little fleet at Bestine. It's not the largest thing ever, but it's pretty substantial, and the fact that they're building up here has me a little bit worried. On the bright side, we have built up some stuff, some more stuff on Yagdul, but at the same time, that fleet means that we're probably not going to be able to move out our fighters yet. I did want to do this next episode, but but seeing that, it's not likely. Further south again. Empire retook Naboo. I can't remember if they fought over Darknell at all, but I think Naboo changed hands a couple of times, and certainly Druckenwell changed hands several times during the episode. I have not seen the CSA's battleship down here yet, but they've got 
a pretty considerable concentration of force here at Arcanus. I can't rem Smuggler's Run swapped a couple of times, I think. I can't remember who currently owns it. And I don't think Alzoc changed hands. I think that's still CSA. I think. Further south once more, the major thing that happened down here was the Empire took Karadef. And if you remember, I'm reasonably certain, because there was two these two planets when we were down here that we could not take because of how strong the defenses were. Terminus had the Invincibles. I don't remember exactly how many. Karadef, I'm... <sighs> Karadef had a bulwark guarding it. I'm I'm pretty sure there were some some other ships alongside it as well, which meant that we didn't even want to go anywhere near it. So yeah, it's looking like the the uh, the empire has taken out a bulwark, which is a little scary. I don't remember if they've taken the ground yet, but um yeah, the fleet there is gone. So that's a little worrying. In particular, it's worrying for, for places like Fondor and Byblos, where the Empire has access to, that has a large defense fleet. I mean, Fondor has the MC-80 Independence and... Was it a Praetor? There was something else large alongside it. I don't remember exactly. And then I think Byblos has a secular, but if they've taken out a bulwark, that's that might mean that these f fleets, these planets, the ind with the independent fleets, aren't aren't a guaranteed blockage anymore. Other than that, we have done quite a bit of research. A lot of stuff got finished. I don't I. Do not remember what all was finished, but I mean, DP twenties are Mark IV, A wings are Mark IV. I mean, you just you can you can kind of just see there that stuff. Um, I think these quasars. Lots of ground units got upgraded. The artillery. The MC-80B is now an MC-80C. And we're also starting to do the Republic class destroyer. Um, I kind of came to a conclusion about the, um, the research here. Basically, it boils down to, I'd like to actually use these units at some point in this campaign. And with the state of things for a little while, about halfway through that recording, it was seeming like, you know, we've gotten to the point where we have, let's see, about half the planets in the galaxy, right? And there's potential that if we don't research these things sooner rather than later, we're going to end up having them when the enemy has like, what, three planets, at which point, who cares, it doesn't really matter. I'd like to use them, you know, in actual battles where they might matter. It would be nice to take Coruscant as a sort of symbolic lore 
thing to mean that out now we can we can build the uh, the new class ships you know but at the same time i mean taking taking like that's the, the the stuff that they've got in this area is crazy and i don't think coruscant is going to happen anytime soon and again i don't want to be research just researching these units once we've already practically won because there is a certain point in galactic conquest where player has essentially won the game it's just a matter of taking the rest of the planets we're not there obviously we're we're definitely not there but i don't want to reach that point before using those units because at that point who cares you know so that's why we're doing that Um, I think I got something else started, but I don't remember what. So, that brings you up to speed, I think, with all of the major events that happened during that recording that got corrupted. So, without further ado, here is the Battle of Slayron. Uh, we have, it, it has already begun. So, uh, we I ended up losing the first part of the battle, but then again, the first part of the, the battle, especially with the uh, large bomber fleet like that, it's, it's a, a, a large portion of it is just me getting them into control groups and then slowly working our way into the battle. So, at least you've skipped that part. But yeah, here's the Battle of Slayron. Enjoy. Okay, so just ran out of recording space accidentally. For some reason, I checked it before starting this, and we seemed like we were fine, but I mean, I had been recording for two and a half hours, so that's probably why. Uh, I hope that didn't corrupt anything, but, well, uh, it's always worrying when that sort of thing happens. Um, but, where were we? Um, I think, I think, I think, I think. Can I possibly persuade you guys to just turn and shoot that? That'd be that'd be super helpful. Okay, here we're going again. I've lost engine two. I can't see him. Reporting in. That's got him. I'm on this one. Get over here, and those things aren't really dangerous. Target. Shoot that. Okay, that was enough enough bombing for that Roger. or just shooting probably those fighters I guess Watch the holy cow those are some missiles whoa oh where are you storing those things they were bigger than the bomber. <laughs> um, okay, sure. How are you guys doing? I'd like you to get over here. See, I'm not really sure how to use these. Is it better to have them, like, following the bombers in? Or would it be better if we, like, stuck them in a, in a particular location and then just had... Y you know, like, a little repair depot in a particular location, and then just had our, our injured stuff go to them? Not sure. 
Oh, you guys... Did you actually... Oh, I told them... I gave them... I keep giving these guys conflicting orders. They haven't even had a chance to bomb this thing yet. What is firing the ion cannons? Do you hear that? I guess it's probably the... Why wings? Oh no, it's probably those. That's almost certainly enough. Those, yeah. Those Y wings got their munitions off. You guys are up for this. We're taking damage. Hmm. Let's let's try this. You guys st sit here. You guys roll in over here to support them. Uh, there was another one of those things over here. We might have gotten it. Oh, nope, they're over here. Target confirmed. I'm in range. Closing on target. I'm not seeing anything that we've lost so far. We are down stuff, though. Hmm. Oh, I think we lost one of these. Maybe? Oh, we're down a lot of stuff. Six, five, four. Four for an E3 E wing. Ooh, that's a little. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That seems a little bit overpowered. I never e really even noticed. Uh, okay, well, hmm. We're setting course for those coordinates. Capacity. I have contact. Hmm, I say, hmm. Oh, these things are so fast. Look at those things go. This is not their top speed. Yeah, stupid rock getting in the way of our cinematics. What is that sound? That one sound. I'm not sure how to describe it, although it sounds a little bit like a disruptor. Who is who? Who is that? Star Viper Squadron reporting. That that sound? Is that not one of ours? Something back here. Are these different? Th that is absolutely a disruptor. Ha! Huh, I knew it. That's not cool. Get out of here with that nonsense. It's these guys. Mmm. That's got him. I'm in range. I'm in range. Try not to let one on your tail. Increase your full throttle. Definitely got healing. Ready. Off that. Certainly. Squadron reporting. Why are you not oh you are. You're Enemy it's just your icon is not. He must be coded differently for some reason. That's a little weird. Ready for orders. Oh, there's another Marauder. In. Heading out. Ready for Did you get those? Looks Fall like up. it. Mm, more disruptors over there. Narrowing position. You calling for me, sir? You guys came in separately. What is that? Uh, 
Choose your reinforcements. We're building those on Volter? No. Where is it? Up in the north. I don't remember what the planet's called. Can I possibly just like We're on station. grab a handful of you guys and have you armed. get over here and blow those up? up. Can I can I get you to just like sit over the station? Form up. Okay, there's that. Hmm. That's not a bad fire rate. That's an odd sounding laser. I'm not sure I recognize that sound effect. Copy. Lasers linked and ready. I copy. Fire at will. We are recording. Oh. They got everything. Nice. Okay, now did we actually lose anything, or did we were we able to bring stuff in because it was just like small losses? Because I think the way squads work is weird. Ah, uh, we did we lose one of those. We lost an E three. I bet I know when it was when we were first going in, and the the goal on on the left we had the E. -we E3s on the Golan on the left, and they went through, and on the other side of that was these two. That was probably when that happened. Okay, now as mentioned, I've been recording for an awfully long time now for this episode, but at the same time, the only major things that have happened is that attack and a whole bunch of stuff with the Empire and the CSA. Oh boy. We're not messing around this time. And I suppose we got a bunch of stuff built, but mostly it was waiting for that 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 to happen. Because of those tugs. <sighs> I'm not sure about the tugs, I'm gonna be honest. We'll hold on to them for a little while longer, but... Oh yeah, I brought these over here so that um, it's just kind of a backup measure. If we feel like we need a little extra support, those guys are there. And the thing is, those might actually work better than the tugs. Right away. Not that it tells you how much they heal. So there's not really any way to tell whether or not they're as good as the tugs. Oh. That might mean there's something nasty on Honiger. Upgrade complete. Let's move out. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. What was the upgrade? It was Oslumpex. Um, what was... What were we doing here? Oh, it was these. Right. Cool. Um, speaking of upgrades... Let's go ahead and... Upgrade in progress. Yeah, we're now broke. Okay, well. Yeah, I think... Hmm. I suppose we'll go ahead and take the ground. It's... I don't think there's that much here. I 
Oh, I was right. Dantween did in fact get some of their ships off, and they did end up at Wayland. Cool on the one hand, kind of irritating on the other. On the one hand, cool because Wayland rather than Dreria. Irritating because it's Wayland or Dreria rather than, you know, somewhere useful. So, eh, eh. Oh, they're, they're, they're absolutely going to attack Corellia. Probably after Zorth. If I had to guess, but maybe not. I guess we're going to have to find out. Already again? Karadef. Um... Oh, it was this one. The one with the, um... Oh, oh no, what was there? There was something really nasty over that planet. It wasn't a praetor, I don't think. It was... Is this the planet that had the bulwark? I think this is the planet that had the bulwark. Terminus had the Invincibles, right? Oh, that's... That's worrying. Like, that's that's really worrying. Ooh, you know what? Let's take a look at the chart. Okay, that tells us things, I guess. I was expecting more up and down, considering how much stuff has been... How many planets have been changing hands lately. Ooh, what is that? Uh, you... Preybird class. Looks like another space superiority type thing. It's really tough. Look at the hell. Interesting. It's got good armor, too. Huh. Looks like they're both starting to roll out new tech. Oh. Oh, that's why. That's why they haven't gotten out of the Maw area. Okay, huh. Death Commando Platoon. Disruptor Pistol. 16 damage. What? That's horrifying. I guess when they say Death Commando, they're not kidding. And then no gree civilians. Throwing Sickles. I don't feel like a sickle would make a very good throwing weapon. I mean, I guess if you sharpened the back edge, maybe? I don't know about that. Well, on the bright side, there is only one battleship. And actually... This is probably a good thing, because it will give us a good idea of how to deal with it. Like, this is one single battleship in isolation. Which should give us a very clear idea of what we're going to be up against over here, and what we're going to be up against with the CSA. Like at Rindilli. And potentially, potentially down here as well, I don't know. We've gotten no confirmation on whether or not that thing survived. That battleship. It might, it might not. But, whatever the case may be, our ground forces are here. Let's do this. Invasion commencing. 
Ah, yes, this is where they've got the RAFs. Um, we've got, we've got armor. I think we can handle it. Although those things do have armor piercing, so maybe we go with the Candorous for the shields to start with. Soak up the damage that way. Um, oh, wait, uh, I forgot about this problem. Oh, that's... That was... Okay, what did we just blow up? I didn't even see what that was. We've secured a build pad. Um, I did get some of the, some of the new artillery. Here we go. Okay, so that's that model. Oh, it has the, uh, the shield... The uh, th things. What are you guys blowing up? I mean, I guess we get our ground units, ground heroes down. Why does it look like you guys are taking damage? Is this like acid rain or something? Rain? Doesn't say. We've located the enemy. Uh, are the infantry taking damage? No. Construction complete. Oh, that's what we've been blowing up. What is that? Huh. Okay, don't know. It's just a P-series droidica, nothing to worry about. Well, you know, Reporting. nothing much to worry about. Oh, the, uh, the, the, these ones don't deploy. Does that mean that this is a totally different unit? Is this, is this artillery artillery? artillery Ooh, that's, um, yikes. That's, that's, whoa. Moving into that area, sir. Okay. That. Yeah. You guys aren't taking damage. Interesting. Get over here. We need some repair. Will we get it on either side? Yeah, see that? That right there? That's what I'm after. So it looks like it's just it's just a different unit. Plain and simple. You guys aren't taking damage, really? Your orders? Gold Squadron commencing attack. Computers locked on target. Mm -hmm. Waiting orders. Hmm. We're on station and ready to fire. We're an assault tank, not a boat. Uh, do we want to get close? What, what is stunning? What is stunning? Wait, no. What? Who? Why? This is this is irritator. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Can you get in? Orders, sir. I can never tell if it's the it's the unit you're telling it to get into it, or if it's the the transport that's having the problem. You know, like. Can you move closer? What do I get to blow up? Enter battlefield. Ready. Destination received. Orders understood. Standing by. Engaging target. What? These have ion cannons? Did we bring any? No, we didn't. I don't think so. Um, 
weird. Two up. I don't think ours have ion cannons. Where's my target? That's Artillery online. extremely Artillery unexpected. Like, really unexpected. Yes, sir. Hello there. I await your instructions. Roger. Heading out. Ah. Uh, that that would have been good. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that deploy rate, but maybe the next level up gets better deploy rate Oof. let's go with that why whatever Weird. I wonder if that has an AoE. I bet it does. Mm, maybe not. Mm, maybe. Um, okay. Let's deploy the artillery, I guess. Do we have anything else with shields? These. That's to be expected, considering where we are. Bombing run I would like for you to go over here. Bombers at the ready. Doohickey's there. It's not exactly the easiest thing to bomb. Hmm. Might be able to do this though. What are we? What do we? What is what? Oh, random dude. Yes, commander. Awaiting orders. Advancing. Done. What is this? Not super useful. Oh, you guys, you guys know. Standing by, sir. Beginning attack. I copy. Engaging target. Ready. Yes, sir. Affirmative. <laughs> Reporting. Positioning. We'll have Obi Wan. I copy. Load the thingy up. Engines primed. You guys deploy. You guys. Reporting. Ready. Go ahead and deploy. Yes. We'll have that shield down Setting in a moment. Well, that's some. Um, you move over. Oh, that's some. Um... Yes, Commander. Right away. Go, go, go. Move it out. Heading out. Fall out. Unit destroyed. Okay, never mind. Yes. Unit Follow me destroyed. to victory. Unit destroyed? What? What was that second one? Oh, it was the 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 the. Never, <laughs> I was looking right at it. Copy that. Ah, uh, ignore me. It's fine. It's fine. Um. There's 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 too much stuff. Too too much stuff. This is. Mm hmm. You don't have a lot of AA. 
That might be too much. Reinforcements um, I don't know. Sure. And, um, hold on to the la last slot. Right Charge. Combat systems at Charge. You guys stay out of the way, will you? Oh, I told him to move. No. Okay, you you actually need to like skedaddle. Where did where did where did the other charge? For some reason, I didn't put them into the group. I don't know why. Oh, that's AA. These things have got quite, quite substantial. Oh, that's a turbo laser! I didn't even realize they have a turbo laser and an ion. This isn't a normal armored free runner. Um. May the force be with you. Yes, sir. Moving out. Not great. Assault tank reporting for duty. The right side. Torpedoes away. Enemy no, targeting. shoot that. I think that was yeah, that was the last one. Great. All weapons loaded. Oh, these guys are gonna. Hmm. I am under attack. You're you're actually fine. Yes, sir. Honestly. I await your command. There are alternatives to fire orders. Let's go. Get out of the way. Let's go blow up the A. Yes, Commander. With this firing. Standing by. Do you have a gun? A DC seventeen doing fifteen damage, that's Odd. Yes, Commander. Moving along. Uh, guys, you're just, you're just, you're just like floating through. Fire. Fire now. F shoot, shoot. Do something. Oh, they were trying to do repair back here again. Why did they not hit that? Roger that. Torpedoes online. Actually shoot that. Yes, sir. We'll be there in a few seconds. Hey. We're looking not too bad. Um hmm. Standing by. These guys. Go after that. We're going in. Roger the unit. Oh, what can I do for you? Dang it. Commander? Just just a hair too late. Just a hair. Did they they send stuff back here to capture this? Roger that. Right away. Moving out. We've lost a build pad. That's a bummer about those LATs, but we've lost a I mean saving that one unit wasn't a guarantee of saving the whole platoon anyway, so Yeah, those those were scary. And very different from ours. System control achieved. Like Anti-material laser and anti-personnel blaster, and it doesn't do anything like as much damage as theirs did. Wow, okay, um, 
Well, that's the hair on. That that ground battle is gonna be a little scary. We're going to have to pull the um the bomber fleet away before doing the battle because otherwise we're not going to be able to use the units we need. Like, we're going to have to use these things probably a lot, and also these. Yeah. Really weird about the artillery, though. I'm, I'm baffled by these things. These, these are, you know, proper artillery. These are just weird. I don't, I don't understand. Well, at any rate, that is going to do it for this episode. Next episode, I don't know if I want to tangle with that. Uh, one other thing we can do is... Yeah, so I immediately take it back. We are, we are not going to um, use our fighters to do things. We're going to... Uh, wait, how did one get left behind? What? That's weird. Yeah, we're, um, I'm pretty sure we can take that with what we've got. But that's not all they've got available to them. Not even close. We might be in some trouble down here. And from both directions, actually. They've they've actually properly taken Empress Teta and Prakith very well might be next. So yeah, uh I was going to say we can we can maybe move out fighters from here, but no, maybe that's a bad idea. Then again, we do have way, way too much. Was that a ground unit? I'll do that later. Um, yeah, we have way too much here to all be in the battle at once, so we could break some stuff out, potentially, but I don't know that that's a good idea. Not, not, not with that thing sitting right there like that. So I guess next episode is going to be that. Hmm. Yeah. So, I will say thank you for watching. Hope you're hope you're looking forward to um, dealing with a Luke for Hulk battleship. And I will say, take care and farewell. Oh, the Bulwark Mark II is almost done. If that finishes next month. I think we might get one of those. <laughs>